have this huge spectacle. You and I have called a lot of spectacles in Japan with Pride Fighting Championships. I didn't get to do WrestleMania this year, but I'm doing something bigger on August 26th. It's a spectacle, my friend. Mayweather McGregor. Did you ever think it would come to fruition? I, I didn't think. You remember me at the beginning? I said, yeah, they find a way to work it out. And then people said, no. And then, you know, nah, yeah, it, they're right. It's, ah, that's not going to be pulled off. He's never going to do that. Why would he do that? It's too much at stake for him. He wants to have 50 and no. There is a 1% to 10% chance. You never know. We'll talk about it in a bit. But, no, I never expected it. I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. This is great for McGregor. He can, uh, after this, retire if he wants to. And he's got nothing to lose. If he he's, already yeah, he's, he's already won. Yeah, he's already won. He's already won the most painful lottery alive because he is going to make minimum, from what I'm understanding, eight, probably nine figures. We know that Floyd Mayweather is not stepping into the ring for less than 100 mil. The, the terms are under wraps, but we, we do know what... Uh, a lot of the details are, including who's going to be calling this event of all Monstrous. events. Monstrous. This, this, it's got to be the best guy on the planet. Hey, well, where is he? I, do you have his number? Can you, uh, you can't. Can you, you have to can look you in the mirror him? to do it. You say you're not a vampire. You could actually see yourself. <laughs> hey, boss. I am uh, beyond excited to be joined by my Showtime Championship Boxing crew, Hall of Famer Al Bernstein, Paulie Malignaggi, Brian Custer, Jim Gray. A lot of people wondering, hey, where's Joe Rogan? Where's the MMA voice? Well, first of all, it is a Showtime Championship Boxing pay-per-view event. It's under the Marcus of Queensbury rules. 12 rounds, 3 minutes, 10-ounce boxing gloves, 154-pound weight class, which is actually super welterweight in boxing. So you get where I'm going here. This is a boxing match, not a mixed martial arts fight. And uh, having said that, I do know that Showtime is endeavoring to bring in some other MMA voices to uh, lend their their voices to this event. Well, well, Joe would be actually a good... I mean, this guy is a boxing buff also. I mean, oh, I think story, he would be he amazing. Every, yeah, he would be but amazing. But I'm saying it. that it's, a you know, as for the actual broadcast, this is Showtime, baby. That's it. I didn't, I didn't get to do Mayweather and Pacquiao on the, uh, the North American side. I got to do the international feed with... A guy we're going to be talking a lot about in a moment, Mr. Andre Ward. What a, what a night he had on Saturday. But, uh, yeah, I, people are already bitching, of course, on either side. And, yes, this is, if people are expecting to see 12 rounds of the world's greatest boxing, they're going to get it from one half of the equation. But it is going to be purely, I think, a mismatch of epic proportions. I don't even know if Conor McGregor, despite being an inch taller, despite having a two-inch reach advantage, knowing how powerful he is, knowing that, yes, he dibble-dabbled in boxing a little bit, but you know as much as I know, boss, the best boxing, best boxer in MMA is not even a, a contender in, in the real sport of boxing. No, it, it, uh, no. And, and, and we're talking here about uh, Mayweather. Mayweather, best defensive boxer on the planet. I mean, Canelo couldn't do anything. He's going to be 40 years old, boss. Well, that doesn't matter. I was a 42. I felt great. See, that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, everyone is looking for the, 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 the areas of which Conor McGregor can exploit. Yes, we never he, McGregor's tired. 28, but Floyd always in incredible condition. Here's a guy who stepped into the gym at four years of age. F f say what we will about him as a human being and on all of his issues that he's had outside of the ring. Uh, when it comes to the sport of boxing, the sweet science... He is Mensa level, my friend. Oh, From yeah. the age of four, that is all he's ever done. 49 and 0. Now, one thing that concerned me right when it was announced, the fact that, yes, there is a commission, the Nevada State Athletic Commission, which is licensing this event for August 26th at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Conor McGregor has never fought as a professional, yet was able to get licensed and now has had this fight sanctioned. It's all about the Benjamins, my friend. And only in boxing. This is the money fight. Oh, but we live in a capitalist society. But, by the way, I, I need 12 tickets tomorrow. Can you get me 12 <laughs> tickets? <laughs> if you have, hey, hey, I can give them to you if you have $1.2 million. 
It's what are the prizes? <laughs> what are the ring seats? Buddy, they, we it, it's going to they're they're going to be stratospheric. Remember Mayweather and Pacquiao? I told you this. No matter where I went the night of the fight in the MGM Grand, all I ran into were celebrities. There's Claire Dane from Homeland. There's Allen Iverson, NBA legend. Uh, we had Donald Trump, the president of the United States, was actually seated. I think in the fourth, fifth, or sixth row at the wow. event, just sitting there, minding because this was back in 2015. I hope Schwarzenegger was in the first row. He did a about that. Well, Jay Z <laughs> was there. It was, uh, yeah. All you saw were the faces of the the beautiful people, the celebrities. Something like this, I'm I'm pretty sure the only ones who are going to be able to afford it are again those in the uh, the one percent, as they say. This to me is is not about the fight. You can break it down your X's and O's all you want. This is about the pageantry. This is about the hype leading up to the event. P.T. Barnum, Vince McMahon. Uh, Don King, Bob Arum, Dana White, and the promoters are supposed to promote. And this, I can see, boss, from both sides. Why is it happening? This is not going to be a competitive fight. But there's obviously a demand for it. And the amount of financial interest, well, it's, what do you think? it's pay-per-view, sickening. Pay-per-view, boss. I, 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 put, uh, I put it at 5.5. What? Million. What did Pacquiao and uh, Pac-Man have? What? Ha- what? Hey, Pac-Man and Mayweather. 4.6 million. That's the record, brother. That's what, It goes over 5.5. What? My, my wow. Words. Okay, write it down. 5.5 5. 5 million on, pay-per-view buys. Wow. I'm, uh, I definitely think it's going to do over three. Whether it, because before, before Pacquiao and Mayweather, the record was uh, the 2.3 million that uh, Pacquiao and, and Canelo had done. And so, uh, and there were others, of course, that Mayweather's been involved in so many of uh, the big, well, the biggest, what am I saying? So many, the biggest pay-per-view buy rates. I, I, geez, 5.5 million. I, I do believe oh. that because the hype to this fight oh. is going to be and, so insane. And, 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 you know, and Ireland, well, Ireland alone has 4.6 million, of course, as kids included. But I think, you know, they're going to get a, I think they're going to get a million from Ireland, right? Think about it. What are the pay-per-view capabilities in Ireland? It may be different over in Europe. Yeah, I, I know, know there are different works, uh, yeah. network things. That's so true. in North America, I'm talking North America pay-per-view buys. This is what we're talking. It was 4.6 million for the uh, Pacquiao Mayweather uh, fight. This one, uh, yeah, I mean, the hype is begun. It's now official. Uh, you know that Conor McGregor, oh, did you see? <laughs> Conor McGregor has painted a mural on his gym in, in his gym, and this thing has him knocking out Floyd Mayweather with a left hand to the thing. You have to see this thing. Oh, to he believe listens it. to your podcast, it's Visualization. You said that. <laughs> it's a beautiful mural, man. This guy, see, again, this is what it's all about. It's, it's the entertainment factor. It's what's going to happen in social media. I remember when Floyd Mayweather first decided, you know what's really going to make me a lot of money, what's going to make me memorable? And remember this, both of them huge pro wrestling fans. That's why I say this is like the WrestleMania of legitimate sport, quote-unquote, uh, the fact that Conor McGregor and Floyd both have borrowed greatly from the pro wrestling playbook. 2007, Floyd Mayweather, when he fought Oscar De La Hoya, came in with a sombrero backwards uh, and, and became money before he was pretty boy Floyd. Didn't draw all that well. Actually bought himself out of his contract with Bob Arum, yep. became the first guy to do so. But at the time, Arum probably thought, well, he, he's a tremendous boxer. He's a great, but not a draw. There's, like you know, not, people aren't interested yep. in this. Then he turned into the bad guy, the heel. So you are looking at the biggest heel in boxing, to, and, and a polarizing as all you know what is Conor McGregor. You either love him or you loathe him, but man... This is what this is about. It's not about, I don't think, what happens when the bell rings. Because after that, it's buyer beware. And I'm sure many people might be disappointed with the outcome. I think if Floyd goes for the knockout and gets a memorable KO because he hasn't had a knockout for over, for over 10 years. Like, uh, if he gets a KO, then maybe at least, all right, put a flag on that and you got a memory. Otherwise, do you think Conor McGregor can even remotely be competitive in this uh, fight? You know, it's just going to be very hard. I, I, I said it in a breakdown and I had to, um, I, I give him like 10% chance. But the, only, the, the reason I'm giving this is because of the pressure on Mayweather. He's, uh, he wants to have this 50-0. 
You know, it's but isn't very that bad too? Fifty and zero with an asterisk. He's fighting Conor McGregor. No, for I know. His still, fight. but it's well, he's he's licensed professional boxer, so it, it counts. But every, I know how it goes. Every single person in this team on the street, everywhere he comes, he's going to go. Oh man, it's easy for you. You're going to knock him out. You know, you're going to beat him up. And that's the more he hears that, the more stressed he's going to get because he's still a fighter. And if he comes in to really knock him out and, and over, he can't do that. But it's Floyd Mayweather. He's not going to do that. He's going to play around, feel out his uh, his reach, and then slowly but surely he's going to come in. Can can McGregor go uh, twelve rounds? Twelve rounds. Wow. I mean, this, <laughs> we don't know. Well, I guess Diaz it, it looked rounds. like it, it right. wasn't, and that and was, it was also minutes. striking. Yeah, you know, it's not like yes. that was a highly sure. grappling match in between. Sure. You know, that was at the end. So yeah, it's going to be very hard. But the only reason I give him chance, and I hope that he can do it, that he lands the big left, it would be something. It will mess up everything in the boxing oh, it'd world. Oh, be the biggest upset in history. There's yep. no. That's not hyperbole. Zero and zero against a guy who, yeah, 49 and 0, equaling Rocky Marciano's hallowed mark, but not just any guy, Floyd Mayweather, who you just said, the greatest defensive boxer of his era, yep. and right up there with the Tony Peps, Pernell Whitakers of the world as the all time greats when it comes to defense. Sure, he has. Uh, man, the fact that, you know, I told my family, I go. <laughs> My dad's all about the money, by the way. Always all about the money. Hardworking guy from Italy, didn't have much. So, yeah, what, what are you getting paid? What are you getting? So, hey, dad, every time I get a chance to talk to him about finances, I, I really wind him up. I go, dad, guess what? These two guys are going to fight August 26th, one boxing match. Each of them get $100 million. <laughs> My God! What the? Oh, with no Mamma Mia? <laughs> no, not from Whoa, my dad. Not from my dad. Mia. Not from my dad. Uh, but it's uh, so, I mean, everyone is talking about it. That's the truth. Everyone yeah. is, is, this is, you know, you look on Twitter, and it's only going to become uh, more and more of a circus. And I think if we embrace that, ladies and gentlemen, and take it what it is, a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle, but the battle of the sexes, Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean King and, uh, you know, El uh uh, Evil Knievel, behind <laughs> the Jump Snake Canyon, uh, WrestleMania. Look how popular WrestleMania is. Which, by the way, leads me into that announcement that maybe you have heard by now if you're listening to this podcast because it's supposed to drop on Wednesday. In case you haven't, all I can say, boss, is I'm so excited about what's coming up next. <laughs> next. It's happening Friday, and of all the announcements, and it's been the most amazing week of my life, and I, I can't be more excited about this summer, but from going back to MMA with Bellator MMA, and how, of course, being around Pride Legends on Saturday night, which we'll talk about in a second, to having the opportunity to call <laughs> the, the biggest money fight in history, one of the biggest spectacles ever, it's this announcement that I think is going to shock a lot of people. Everybody. Yeah. So I know. And don't ask me because I'm not going to tell. <laughs> but I do know. And, you know, I wanted the other ball. I wanted to give it to you by, by this. Yeah, but imagine Joe Rogan would have done the commentating with you. Then you should have jumped to the, U to the UFC one time. And I go, oh, wait, no, you can't do that either because well, you got better